Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make Raja Rani Paratha. In English, this is called King and Queen Paratha. Why is this called Queen and King Paratha? Because it has loaded with a lot of ingredients. A lot of vegetables, paneer, butter, mayonnaise and lots and lots more. Let's check out the ingredient, what we'll need for Raja Rani Paratha. Press the red subscribe button, should turn gray. Press the bell icon, select all. Here I have grated paneer, that is Indian cottage cheese. I have boiled and mashed potatoes over here. Here I have capsicum or we can call bell pepper. Carrots grated. I have cabbage here which is finely chopped. Onions finely chopped. Spring onions finely chopped. Cilantro. One teaspoon of garlic. One teaspoon of green chili. Salt to taste. Chat masala. Garam masala. And from my masala box, I'm going to use dhania jeera powder, that is coriander and cumin seed powder. Here I'm going to use chili powder and some turmeric powder, butter, oil, mayonnaise. This is Sichuan sauce. If you don't have Sichuan, you can always use red chili sauce. Here I have black pepper and for the paratha dough, I'm going to show you what I'll need for that. So here for the paratha dough, I have half cup of wheat flour and half cup of all purpose flour. And to this, I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to knead the dough. Salt. One teaspoon of oil. And I'm going to use half a cup of water now. I ended up using half a cup of water plus three tablespoons of water to this. The paratha dough is ready now. I'm going to just put a little bit of oil on top and I'm going to give it a rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes now. And now let's go prepare the stuffing for the paratha. Let's make the stuffing now. So first I'm going to add around two tablespoons of cabbage. Uh, one big tablespoon of carrot. I'm using some uh, capsicum here, green bell pepper. You can use uh, other color bell pepper if you have. Here adding onions. And then I'm going to put a little bit of spring onions here. Why I'm making in small batches? Because the uh, vegetables, they uh, lose water here. So I don't want my, all my stuffing to be watery. So I'm going to make it in small, small batches. I'm going to add cilantro now. Some green chilies. Garlic paste. Around quarter teaspoon of chaat masala. Quarter teaspoon of garam masala. I have paneer over here. Around two tablespoon I'm going to add now. I forgot to mention cheese earlier. So I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. You can add more and less according to your taste, all the vegetables and spices too. I'm going to put some turmeric powder, a little bit of chili powder. Again, according to, according to your taste, you can put all the chili powder. And I'm going to put some coriander and cumin seed powder here, around one teaspoon. I'm going to add the Szechuan sauce here. 
and if you don't have Sichuan sauce you can always add chili sauce or you could just skip this step here I'm going to add some black pepper and I'm not going to add salt now but I'm going to just mix this first and then add salt at the end now I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to mix it with my hand now if you think your mix uh, the stuffing is very watery the tip over here is you can use some breadcrumbs but mine is like it's not uh, too watery so it should be when you press hard it should become into form into a dough here look this is how it sh should be I've taken a lime size ball here I'm going to press it and I'm going to dip it in the flour and I'm going to roll it and then now I'm going to put the stuffing on this so here I'm going to just make it in a ball here so my stuffing goes properly I'm going to put it in the middle maybe I don't need a little extra because it it should be loaded with vegetables Now I'm going to just put it like this so it covers it up here and the extra dough I'm going to just twist it and take it out like this and again with your palm you can just press it and then again dip it in the flour and now Again, try to press as much as you can with your palm and now draw it. You have to draw it with light hand so the it doesn't break up. So now the paratha is almost rolled. So now let's go cook it. is heating over here so now I'm going to put the paratha on it and let it cook for a while now I can see some white patches so I'm going to flip it over now at this point I'm going to put some oil and I'm going to add butter over here You can put more or less according to your taste but this in this I'm putting a little bit more and I'll save this for later okay I think the other side is cooked properly so I'm going to flip it over again now again on this side I'm going to put oil and I'm going to put butter This is the Raja Rani Parada, so it needs to have lots of butter and oil. But I'm not putting much, but still I have put enough today. And cook it on both sides properly. I put some more butter and oil on the side of my pan, but that's okay. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with all those oils and butter. going to let it brown a little bit more and then I'll take it out so I see it's like cooked properly now so I'm going to take it out on my dish here but over here I'm going to add, add this extra butter I'm going to put leftover of my 
stuff in here and I'm going to cook this further. At this point, I'm going to add some mayonnaise. And let's give it a mix and cook it further here. Before that, I am going to cut the paratha. So my paratha is ready here. Now I'm going to put this on top of my paratha and spread it out. Spread it evenly on top of it and then at, on top we are going to sprinkle more cheese this is a very heavy paratha if you eat one of it you will be really full and then sprinkle some chat masala on top and sprinkle some cilantro and now this is ready to serve the Raja Rani paratha is ready I'm going to eat with the green chutney and ketchup and if you don't want to make the paratha you can always use bread pieces in between you can put the stuffing and just uh, grill it on the pan and then you can just serve it with just ketchup or if you have green chutney, you can use green chutney too. Also in the stuffing, my stuffing looks dry here, but some people use tomatoes here. I have not used tomatoes because I didn't want my stuffing to get watery. And so if if you want any vegetables, but you if, if the vegetables are watery, please do not include that. Otherwise your paratha won't come out perfect. If you enjoyed watching today's video then please like share subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any of my uploads see you soon with another next recipe thank you for watching bye